Hello guys, uh, my name is Srini. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you are already a subscriber, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is the uh, third video on uh, EKS. In the previous uh, two videos, uh, on the first video I talked about the things uh, you need to do uh, before you start uh, uh, working with EKS. How do you set up command line tools, uh, etc. Uh, in, the in the second video, I showed you how to create an EKS cluster. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually deploy your application uh, on EKS cluster. Uh, I'm going to add links to those uh, previous two videos. If you haven't seen those, I would uh, highly recommend that you, uh, you see them as well. Uh, so that way you have continuity um, to how to deploy your applications. So having said that, in this video, uh, I'm going to deploy one of the uh, Kubernetes example uh, uh, applications uh, from Kubernetes website. Uh, you can check this here, Kubernetes docs tutorials uh, in here. Uh, you can look at the stateless applications. Uh, and they tell you how to deploy your stateless applications and stateful applications. So I just picked randomly one of them, which is actually uh, deploying the WordPress uh, with MySQL database on EKS. So in the previous video, we left off here where we created a cluster. Hopefully you deleted the cluster after that, otherwise you're going to get charged. Uh, so I just created a new cluster. Uh, I'm going to uh, deploy the WordPress uh, application which requires MySQL. Uh, uh, I'll walk you through the process. So we're going to deploy two things. Um, the first one is a, a MySQL deployment. Uh, so this is like a typical uh, Kubernetes uh, manifest file. Uh, we're going to deploy a service. Our, uh, name is going to be WordPress uh, MySQL. Uh, labels WordPress. Uh, a port number which is a default uh, port uh, for MySQL. And selectors. Uh, and then we need for this uh, MySQL. We need to we need a persistent uh, uh, volume claim, persistent vo volumes. I would not worry about those things right now. Uh, it's just uh, basically getting some kind of storage for the database, right? Uh, and then we are requesting uh, 20 gigs of data, uh, all this stuff. And uh, you can go through. So we're setting. We're going to be reading uh, our you know, passwords from a secrets file and everything. I'm going to link this. Thing in my in the description below so you can go through details as well uh, so basically we're saying hey uh, deploy this image uh, uh, MySQL 5.6 with this name and uh, use this uh, use this uh, uh, environment variable read the password from uh, secrets uh, so the default port and uh, etc and this is where you're going to mount the uh, the path mount path so we're going to deploy that uh, and then once we have the MySQL database, we're going to deploy actual WordPress. So it's going to be a similar thing. Uh, this is going to be a service as well. Uh, name is WordPress, app is uh, WordPress and the port is AD because this is a web application. Um, and then uh, we're going to use load balancer. Uh, same process. So we need to put these WordPress uh, files in storage. We use uh, persistent volume claims and persistent volumes, uh, and then uh, so basically it's going to be doing the you know you're going to provide it the password to MySQL database, um, and then the, this is the mount path where you're going to mount it. Uh, so we're going to do two these deployments, but we're going to make it a little bit easier. Uh, this is probably a little bit advanced topic customization, uh, uh, Kubernetes. Uh, we'll talk about that in uh, some other video. But for now, basically to deploy the whole thing together, uh, you can use this one, uh, customize, where you can actually generate the secret. This is the this is the password we're going to use for our database. Um, and then we're saying in this one, hey, run this service and this service. So we're going to put those files in the customize as resources. What it's going to do is this is a new feature, well, relatively new feature in Kubernetes. 
it's gonna run these files apply these two files so instead of actually applying this and then applying this it's going to do this and the customize also comes with the uh, config maps you can generate config maps automatically you can uh, generate secrets uh, as well uh, so having said that uh, so I have uh, my kubernetes cluster ready uh, I am in a folder where I have all these files customization ML file I just showed you up here uh, and then I have my WordPress deployment AML, uh, which is this one here, and my SQL deployment AML here. So I have them in the folder where I'm at. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to apply it now. Um, kubectl apply. Uh, mistype it sometime keep forgetting my command so you can go here uh, for reference it's a switch so it's good to get uh, good to get errors sometimes so you know what to, uh, how to correct them so it's gonna uh, so it's gonna run all these files so as you can see a hey, this uh, service is uh, secret created your service is created uh, services two services created your deployments created your persistent volumes created right um, so now uh, let's go to our amazon console So similarly, like like we saw last time in our uh, um, cluster, you can go here and uh, check uh, check your running instances. So basically, we said when we created the cluster in the last video, we created three nodes and stuff. Uh, it's uh, it's gonna uh, it's gonna create a few other things, and I talked about uh, uh, all those details in the last video. If you haven't checked it, check that video as well. Uh, so we got all this stuff running, uh, and then if you go to if you go to EKS, you can see you know our cluster is created here, uh, as it says here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few checks uh, just to make sure we got everything right. Keep CTL get secrets. All right, so we got secrets here. So which is uh, from uh, here. Well, we're using the secret generator. So uh, that corresponds to this. Uh, let's get parts. Let's see what parts are running, right? Okay, we have a few parts running here. So you see that? Uh, so we're using one part for WordPress, one part, one part for MySQL. Uh, Let's get uh, <clears throat> let's get the uh, services. Okay, so you see the services. Um, so they are the, these are just some basic checks. Uh, you do just make sure everything is running. Okay, it looks like everything is good to go. Uh, so everything are deployed. But I do want to verify uh, from the from the browser it actually got deployed, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to EC2 here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to load balancers because remember we specified a load balancer, uh, I believe in here, right here. So we have that. So we have load balancer running here. So what I want to do is I want to get this DNS name here, take it from here and check. We see WordPress 
see here we go so we got that so that's the simple tutorial on how to uh, deploy application and EKS uh, as, uh, as I was saying in the beginning uh, please do check the previous two tutorials which are which walk you through uh, EKS from beginning uh, before you start with the EKS to creating a cluster to actually deploying an application uh, if you like the video please give thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, thanks for watching guys. Bye.